Hello, a high vibe tribe. It is Pink Bella. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome all star seeds, light workers, and past 144,000. This is going to be a transmission and short quantum update for all of us as we're heading towards some very powerful astrological alignments. And I just wanted to check in with everybody. And we're going to do a deep dive into the Akash Records for any other information we need. So I hope you're all well. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for everyone liking, subscribing, sharing this out. And also, um, if you ha haven't sorted it out yet, all of my cool information and offers is in the community tab. So check there daily because I often will post things there before I get to any of the platforms and uh, anything else. There's lots of things going on. Uh, let's talk about the deep dive today. So I got a deep dive into the cash records for all of us because we are in the middle of a Mercury retrograde. I haven't really talked too much about it. Um, they reminded me I, that in December of last year, I, we started calling it the X-Files. So we're going to look at that. That will continue until the 24th of April. And we'll still have a two-week uh, post-shadow period. Also going to talk about the full moon coming up on the 20th. The very powerful and unique Jupiter-Uranus conjunction on the 23rd. And I'm going to do a grid update. And we're going to pull some cards on this Jupiter-Uranus um, alignment as well. So, yeah. For those of you that are new, thank you for being here. I'm so grateful for you. I'm a 12 to 22nd dimensional quantum Akashic reader, uh, clear healer. Um, I've been working with the chakra system and the Akashic records consistently since 2016. And I also uh, I've gone through enough initiations and integrity that I am able to access the galactic and the intergalactic Akashic records. And not everybody on the planet is able to do that yet. So, I've been doing this for a long time, of course, lifetimes. And of course, I'm here to help all of you be the best version you can be, whether it's moving into soul mission, whether it's resolving ascension symptoms, whether it's aligning with your highest timeline, whether it's wanting to learn about uh, earth grid work, activating with the dragons, and now this new initiation, um, the Jedi initiation, super cool. Uh, all sorts of things on offer right now. And I'll talk a little bit more about that when I get into the grid update. So... Mercury retrograde and the X files. This is a time, and what I'm starting to see and really see clearly with Mercury retrograde, it usually goes about three weeks into retrograde, three times a year. It's helping us to recalibrate our timeline. It's bringing up people, places, things from the past so we can make new choices and arrive and move into our new destination, our new timeline. How unbelievably powerful that it came through this very amazing solar eclipse i am still integrating i hope you're all doing okay um, i would say reports from all around the planet because we're still going through solar flare activations as well dizziness feeling ungrounded not knowing what day or time it is uh, ears ringing headaches sinus issues uh, aches and pains especially specific to the um, the spine and, you know, the feet and the hands anywhere, there's a lot of bones, including the skull as well. And that would be your teeth because your meridians are getting upgraded as well. And specifically just trying to feel like we're back, we're back in alignment. So that's just some things that are happening right now. Um, even though I wasn't in the path of totality, complete recalibration for me as well. And I feel like it absolutely has been a reset in my reality too. So I'm sure many of you are feeling that. Please comment below. Uh, where you're from and how you're doing and what's happening in your part of the planet. Okay. All right. So the X file. So we have people, places, things coming from our past, but also in dream time. Uh, we specifically will have scenarios with people in our dreams to resolve timelines and old patterns and old karmic issues, especially if you don't have any opportunity to see them in this reality that could be exes you might have exes reaching out to you so choose wisely choose wisely and make sure you're not going backwards you want to move forward okay um we're also with the x files being shown you know timelines that are still open so i've been clearing you know old timelines and releasing old information from two you know 2015 but also way back 2006 2005 and i was uh really felt this call to go through my closet the last two days and just really um, choose wisely and pick some items to donate because we have timelines attached to our clothing and to many articles that we own. So when we release that, we're giving 
the universe freedom to close off those realities and bring us new whatever we're wishing wherever we're wishing to go and whatever we wish um, to do as well which could be more of your superpowers coming online so it's very freeing and i like to donate because i like to uh pay things forward and know that um individuals are going to be receiving uh things that they might not be able to receive yeah okay so let's talk about the full moon now so the full moon again i forgot to look to see what it's what sign it's in but everybody's kind of in different astrology right now i want to say the new moon was just um it could be in gemini i'm not sure but anyway the full moon is going to be on the 20th and it's it's intertwined. I feel like all the astrology right now is intertwined with post-solar eclipse, recalibrating us to our highest timeline. By the time Mercury goes direct on the 24th, we're going to be like, woo! Even though we have two weeks of kind of like fine-tuning, we're so much different than we were when we started. So we've got the full moon and we have this powerful Jupiter conjunct Uranus, which I'll, I'm going to do a deep dive on shortly. Um, You've all been a seed long enough. It's time to grow and experience the world through a new perspective. It's time to move differently in this world. Uh, there is going to be interesting movements in the sky. I feel like there's going to be more sightings of UFOs and more footage of UFOs as well, bringing the worldwide attention, discussion, and speculation. And they're adding with me, bringing us all together for collective cosmic events, just like the solar eclipse. I loved that so many people around the planet and so many news agencies were covering the eclipse this year, even with all the fear that was, you know, this underlying, but that was a choice, right? But I have been sharing so many beautiful photos and images of people gathering together and singing together. And it was amazing. Yeah. So what we can expect through these cosmic events, breaking news, destiny and karma, sudden surprises coming out of trauma loops, so noticing the patterns where we want to keep um, keeping us stuck, right? Um, the key ones for star season light workers are abandonment and betrayal. So look at look at whether or not you're showing up or allowing yourself to go into a reality with people, places, things where you're not um, being able to be in your power or you're handing your power over. Okay. Uh, opportunities, growth, expansion, because Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Leap of faith, hidden truths are going to be revealed. The tide is turning, karmic endings, new beginnings, back to basics, higher power, divine intervention, acceptance, and life cycle. I love that. Let's go to the next one. Oh, before I get too much further into the Jupiter conjunct Uranus, I'm going to uh, talk about the grid updates. So those of you who don't know, I'm outside of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Vancouver and the outlining areas have been my main grid assignment for many years now, consciously since 2017. But unconsciously, I lived in and out of the city and worked in the city for a number of years. I've also traveled to many of the um, high powerful vortexes around the planet, had a lot of activations. But right now, for those of you who are interested in grid keeping and gatekeeping, it's a very powerful time because the Galactic Earth Alliance, we're actually working on this Galactic Ley Line project where we're activating and um, bringing in the new grid system. And uh, like we're overlaying the old grid system so we can bring stargates online and we have more access to um, our star families and they have more access to assist us on the earth as well. Okay, we're like, we're the inside ground crew. All right. So we have that happening and um, the grid. Oh yeah. The really interesting grid update. I was to go into the city on Friday. I woke up just feeling off about it. And with Mercury retrograde net right now, it almost, it's almost like we have a filter over our very strong, powerful intuition. So this is actually a time where we may want to pull cards or use some other, like a pendulum to, to decide on, you know, going right or going left if we're not too sure. So I woke up feeling very tired and kind of off on Friday. I pulled some cards and apparently it was not time for me to go. That timeline on Friday, which was an appointment, was re was created from this, this timeline that started in the last eclipse season, November 2023. It wasn't organically created by my higher self in me. It was created by a third party. So I was guided that I wasn't to go in. Um, that it, that was getting recalibrated. It's super interesting to me. And plus I was very tired and I do a lot of the grid work 
when I'm in the city on foot. So I postponed it. And that, that just, and that, like when your body relaxes, it's like, that's the right choice. So I am also too recalibrating from the last eclipse season, October, November of last year. And so I've done a uh, personal grip for the city, for the route that I would usually go and been activating, uh, clearing ley lines with the dragons and the galactics for the last couple of days. And I'll give you a report back about that. But I, apparently I needed to do this piece before I could go back into the city. And I usually do go, do go into the city at least once a month. So <clears throat> there's that update. The other update is that so many of you might be interested in learning to do grid work, both locally, especially if you're in a city or near a city and or learning globally, plus learning how to be in your integrity, who to work with, what is required, um, how to work with the dragons, all of that. So if you're interested in that, there's a Earth Grid Work training package on offer as well. There's also a dragon activation package and there is a new Jedi training package as well. And I'm also in Jedi training right now. I have been in Jedi training consciously again since 2018. I lived in this area in the city, which I found out later was a men in black area. And so there's two pathways for that. It's an incredibly empowering leveling up abilities and just moving through things quickly um, so there's a star seed um, galactic jedi activation package and there's also a uh, galactic goddess package as well so what i can see so far is the initiations and activations are personal for all of us but we're being brought home into this jedi collective in order and the grids per, the grids in and around the planet have also gone through a reset and an upgrade especially through this eclipse, part of the eclipse energy was for the galactics to bring a lot of, um, a lot of ships in and a lot of um, grid work feasibility for all of us, like to reset the system and upgrade the system. So that's all been upgraded and all the new codes for the Jedi order have, are there as well. However, everyone will be activated accordingly. Okay. It's not something that you can just rush into. It's something that you, we need to make sure that our emotions are and check and that we're doing things to the highest good. Okay, so that is the grid updates right now. And the grid updates will be brought into all of you uh, through personal sessions as well. Okay, the final piece is we're gonna look at the Jupiter-Uranus Jupiter connection and conjunction. Let me just read this. Pay attention to seeing sequences of uh, num numerology, uh, sequences of 777, 333, and 888. Uh, which I love. Here we go again, stargazers, gearing up for another great event in the cosmos as Jupiter and Uranus prepare to align in a rare conjunction on April 20th, 2024. Oh, I got that backwards. The full moon's on the 23rd. The celestial occurrence happening only once every 14 years and lasts even in the specific uh, Taurus. It has not been in Taurus. So we haven't had this conjunction for 14 years. So that would be uh, 2000, year 2000. And then it hasn't been, this alignment hasn't been in Taurus since 1941. Wow. So this is anticipated to bring a powerful surge of spiritual energy and a huge alignment for all of us. This alignment has the potential to spark newfound inspiration, hope, abundance, prosperity. That's what Jupiter is all about, expanding and helping us level up in our lives, but also unveiling unseen paths and door, opening doors that previously have been unattainable in our dreams. Additionally, with Taurus, steadfast nature and Venus's influence, we can expect a flourishing of love, new partnerships of all kinds, uh, including business partnerships. As we prepare for this cosmic event, we brace ourselves for a period of profound spiritual growth and exciting possibility in the months ahead. So this is like the, the, the icing on the cake after the eclipse. So we all set intentions before the eclipse, and then we align to go through the gateway we're through it now. And now even with Mercury retrograde every day, we're being given an adjustment. So on the 20th, it's just a few days away. We're being given an opportunity to say, yes, that's the door I want to go through. Okay. All right. So let's pull some cards and just ask the collective Akashic records, including galactic and intergalactic. I'm going to call in the galactic earth Alliance and just see what other messages we need to know for all of us as a deep dive for this conjunction. Earth star activation. I see, I already see a Merkaba. So our Merkabas are also connected to our traveling, our um, traveling through the stargates. It's a divine matrix. 
I am presence. What's on the bottom of the deck? Oh, halls of Amente came in upside down. So to me, this is like my Illuminati card and it came in upside down. So, and it does say like treasure initiation, secrets revealed, treasures uncovered. So I feel that there's going to be more information, more insights, more truth unfolding about the Illuminati and about um, their endeavors and more information coming out for the collective about what's been happening. Okay, so first off, it is a divine matrix. So it's a very powerful portal and activation, both personally and connectively to change and move in to the higher dimensions and the higher timelines and what for yourself and also just as a collective as well. Earth star activation. This is anchoring and grounding interaction. But for some of you, your earth star is going to be coming online. This is needed to connect to the new crystalline grids. And it also supports your work and supports you being here in this reality. We were all invited to be here. Many of us have been pushed aside on this journey it's helped us wake up but now you want to anchor your energy in and i do include that in sessions okay um, i am present light body activation accessing the divine within so again a very powerful personal and collective uh, pillar of light activation as well very exciting okay i'm going to pull some tarot messages to see what other information we need for this deep dive today Three of Cups, Rejoice and Celebration. I'm going to pull some clarity cards as well. Ooh, there's number two, Doors. Movement, Choices, Decisions. So we're being given a few days to decide, finally, what is your highest timeline? Where do you want to go? Number five, Conflict and Defeat. And we have a five and a five. And then overall, again, we have that solar plexus stepping into our power. So fascinating. Okay, let's pull some clarities and then I'll ask for the channeling of the information to come in. So we have two threes as well. It goes along with that three, three, three. Okay. So with the three, uh, the rejoicing celebration, we have the hermit card. That's my star. That's, that would be a message from the, the Galactic Earth Alliance and all the uh, galactic teams that I work with. And by the way, they're letting me know that this conjunction and the eclipse was a wave of energy that has changed not only our planet, but the entire solar system and every single earth, rock, plant, animal, not only on earth, but through the entire um, galaxy and universe. Okay. It's a ripple effect change. It has changed the timelines for the space time continuum movement choices and decisions night of pentacles. So if any of you out there, are aligning with a new level of abundance, prosperity, support for your soul mission, for your new direction. That is a door option you can choose. And you can add that already to your wish list. Okay. We also got Knight of Cups for conflict and defeat. So if any of you are going through any suffering right now, any, this is your, this is another opportunity where the universe is saying, let it go, surrender it, release it. It's, it's you know the universe is not here to keep pushing us down we're rising up from that and you have an op this is an offer this is an opportunity to uh surrender it and let it go and remember to let it go with forgiveness and gratitude for the lessons and to free yourself finally what is the final uh, the final message to step into our power i love it the four of wands four is april wands is fire we are still in the Aries energy, but this is all about celebration, right? celebration, family and community. So step back into your power and just know we're all moving forward together to create this very, very powerful divine experience for earth. Okay. This is for humanity. We also have at the, at the bottom of the deck, we're moving out of troubled waters. I think that is more than enough. Oh, I'm hearing just, we should just pull a dragon. One dragon message to see which dragon energy wants to bring another message for us today. I love it. The white gold dragon from Lyra. So for many of you, your empowerment issues are still connected to the fall of the Lyra system. You still don't feel like you belong here. You A lot of the abandonment and betrayal is from the loss of our home in Lyra. The white gold dragon of Lyra is coming in just saying that's not true. You're, you're to rise up into your power now, okay? And don't forget, those of us that are starseeds, we're preparing for the Lion's Gate on the 8th, the Lion's Gate on the 8th of August. And this is a very powerful opportunity to continue moving in that direction. So White Gold Dragon from Lyra connects you to the highest Christ light. It'll, this dragon will help you 
connect beyond the old galactic and intergalactic traumas. It's helping you to develop your intuitive abilities and your Jedi abilities. Absolutely. On that beautiful note, thank you so much, beautiful High Vibe Tribe. Again, if you'd like to work with me, check out the description box. Best way to get a hold of me and uh, look forward to working with you all. Oh, and on a final note, there is a mentorship mentorship option, uh, a package where you can start this month as well. So check that out. And if you're interested, uh, please email me. Sending love and aloha from Pink Bella. Take care.